Hey everyone, my name's Xavier and welcome to the council. This is a narrative adventure. In 1793, where we're trying to figure out who killed our mother. Uh, and also we're a member of a secret society. So with all the crazy, crazy games I've been playing lately. Uh, what with XCOM being like really intense and Battle Brothers just having death all over the place and Mutant Year Zero being pretty extreme, uh, extremely involved. I figured it's probably about time for just a super relax, like super chill narrative adventure. Just like let the game experience uh, unfold and we'll go through and we'll just uh, enjoy the artwork and the writing. New game. What we're gonna do here episodes now i should mention this game i think it was yesterday the final episode just came out i hadn't actually even heard of it until very recently uh but all of the all five episodes are out now i'll put a link in the description down below if you want to pick it up for yourself um, but we're gonna do the prologue today maybe off the coast of england <laughs> You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchard! Von Borchard! Hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Ooh. I'll trust her. No. Yes. I'm a young brash lad. Or I'm a mother's boy. Oh boy. The decision's probably one of the most difficult things I've ever had to make. Ah. Uh, 
I'll trust her. Please be my guest, mother. Mm. Ah. Done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchert. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Von Bertrand's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer, and now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh no, we have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? Hmm, I'm here for a personal reason. Oh god, listen to the environment. Beautiful, feels like I'm really there. Your Eminence, with all due respect, I prefer to keep my reasons for coming here to myself. I promise, it has nothing to do with the legendary party that you all appear to be preparing for. I believe what you will, my son. However, everything is related to the legendary parties organized by our host. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that, Cardinal. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Hmm, yes, turn the question right back on. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. 
Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Are you all right? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother, no, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay <sighs> You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Well then, that was a 13 minute intro. This game looks beautiful. I will say the main character here has the skinniest chin I've ever seen, which reminds me of my old Dragon Age character. I made like a literal cone headed figure uh, by mistake, <laughs> but he's still stuck in my memory. You're looking like an ice cream cone head man. Wow. Look at the detail on this. Unfortunately, there's no mouse sensitivity. Go up to the manor. All right. Can we hold down shift? Yes. We jog briskly. It's just... Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Now, what you choose carries over through all of the different um, chapters. I think there's five episodes with 18 chapters or maybe 15 chapters. So we have the diplomat. The diplomat shines in society. A talented speaker, he avoids faux pas and he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predilection. Occultus. Occultus is a master of deception, convinced of the importance of knowledge. He has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. Detective. The detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings as well as people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. I'm gonna go for detective. I have a massive affinity for anything uh, detective related, anything with Sherlock Holmes in it, and this is like the perfect era for that. 
Choosing a class defines your basic skills. The other skills will still be available, but unlocking them will be more expensive. Three available points. Detective unlocks the questioning, vigilance, logic, psychology, and agility skills. You now have seven effort points to use your skills. You pass... Your pass granted you one skill point in manipulation and psychology. Okay. Interesting. 1750 XP to level 2, detective. What is this? Science? Oh, this was the diplomat one? Ah, uh, I see. So we're over here. We've unlocked these things. Read people's behavior like an open book. Level 1. Unlocks dialogue options and actions. Three points left before level 2. Hmm. We have three points available. I want to do this. I want to be able to read people like an open book. Let's spend one, two, and three. We've now completed psychology. I didn't even look at the rest. I'll go over them for those of you who are interested. Questioning. Notice anything strange in someone's behavior or appearance. Hmm. Level two in psychology. Is there a level three? Yes. Eleven points left before level three. Okay. Vigilance. Notice noteworthy details or oddly placed elements. Logic. Use your logical mind and oratical skills. Oratorical skills. <laughs> yes, I am displaying my oratorical skills right now. Use your coordination against your surroundings and sometimes against people. Oh, yes. I want to be Jackie Chan, but with brains. I think that's what we're going to do. Manipulation. Get people to act in your own interest. Occultism. Relying on your knowledge of myths, occult, and religious symbols, as well as ancient languages and secret societies. Benefit from a sound cultural background in the arts, geography, and history. Erudition. Science. Be up to date with scientific knowledge and medieval techniques. Oh, this is so cool. I want all of these, actually. Subterfuges. Secretly steal items, pick locks, and notice falsification. Linguistics. Translate all kinds of documents and conversations into foreign languages. Diversion. Divert people's attention, change a subject, or avoid questions. Politics. Express your grasp of the geopolitical situation, nation's interests in diplomatic relations. Conviction. Convince people with the sheer force of your will and your attitude and etiquette. Adopt the appropriate behavior for every social situation. Also used to formulate flattery or veiled insults. Ooh, I want that one too. All right, let's hold space to validate. Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Huh. Inch. I was wondering what all those cutscenes were about. I'm just going to be honest with her. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. <laughs> well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torching me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. To access the skill required for the situation, you just need to have unlocked it. 
Not sure at all what this means. You can discover details. Okay. Oh. Oh. Her mouth. I'm gonna read I her lips. I ask her a question. She answers with another. Is she playing with me? Ooh, this is cool. Personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Wow. It's kind of like mental exhaustion trying to talk to all these people. It's a game of the mind, friends. A game of the mind. Review opportunities and vulnerabilities in the journal tab in the main or in the menu. Immunity revealed. Vulnerability revealed. Press the space button to access your menu pages. Oh, uh, I think it's actually enter. Okay. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? Hold on. I want to see what they're talking about. In fact, I haven't even seen this before. This is my first time playing, and I didn't um, jump into the game to get familiar with it at all. Because I wanted it to be fresh. So this is a map. Uh, over here, it looks like the level we're on, I'm guessing. Let me come over here to inventory. The art of knowing people by their... Sizyogomi? I don't even know what that is. Physio? Physiognomy? A method by which to analyze individuals based on their physical appearance, notably their facial characteristics. Johann Kasper Lavater, 1775. This is something that's always interested me. Plus one skill point in psychology. Up here, Emily's handkerchief. The blood stain on it is yours. It bears her initials E.H. Hillsborough. Mortimer's invitation. Dear Monsieur de Richette, I am writing to you to express my embarrassment regarding the situation in which I find myself. As you probably know, I invited your mother, Sarah de Richette, to join me on my island several weeks ago. We had pro projects in common regarding your order. Her stay was going smoothly until yesterday when your mother suddenly disappeared. I do not want to overworry you, but I would like you to join me as soon as possible so we can shed some light on this mystery. Please accept, sir, the expression of my highest consideration. Oh, consideration. Boy, I'm having a bad time today talking. Yours sincerely, Lord William Mortimer, Marquis of Westfordshire. Well, that's all our inventory. Royal Jelly. Restores two effort points. Press one to use. Hmm. Golden elixir. Cures negative alterations. Devil's thorn. Temporarily reveals the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice. And carmelite water. Next skill use is free. Ah, uh, this is so cool. I love how the game's not afraid to just zoom directly into their face. Most games would, like, obscure them, block them, because they're going to look weird and fake. And this game just owns that. They're like, yep, it's a computer game. We made it look as good as possible. Looks fantastic. Uh, but obviously it's not real. Ooh, here's our mother. She's a rich French aristocrat. 34 years ago, Sarah took over one of the most important secret societies, the Golden Order. A woman of strong will... Sarah endeavored to infiltrate the highest circles of society. Politics, trade transactions, secrets of state, or paranormal spheres, the Order had an eye over everything. One of the biggest areas of growth that Sarah brought to the Order was the development of its branches in America, Europe, and Central Africa, not to mention the expansion of her occult section, which she took care of personally. Since he was just a boy, Sarah has been preparing her son Louis to become the new face of the Golden Order. Emily Hillsborough. Wow, look at that light they cast on her. It's incredible light work. She's an English duchess close to the English crown. Very discreet about her. Oh, this is what I wanted to see. This is why I came in here. This is to be discovered. Uh, right here, immunity logic. So she's immune to logic. Boy, is there a bunch of jokes in there. Hmm. At least now I know that, though. 
Very discreet about her origins, Emily only came to the political scene after her wedding that some qualified as a marriage of interest to an old English aristocrat on the decline. Libertarian, modern, but discreet, she has taken it upon herself to establish close ties with her peers. In a few years, she has become the favorite diplomat of the Queen, which is what probably prompted her Prime Minister, William Pitt, to take her as private secretary, thus provoking much suspicion and jealousy. As a regular visitor, Emily accepted Sir Gregory Holmes' invitation to come to Lord Mortimer's Island because, for nothing in the world, she would miss one of these famed receptions. We'll read these other ones a little bit later. Oh, look at this guy. God. That's the map. Here's our character. This is just our skill points. Here's our talents, interestingly enough. Policing mastery. Questioning. Vigilance. Psychology. Reach level 3 in Vigilance and level 2 in Questioning and Psycho- oh, okay. Has the fake elements displayed. So basically, this kind of- I can combo my skill points to giving us extra bonuses. You gain one extra effort point when you exploit a vulnerability. Okay, we'll get more into that later. I want to go start talking. Ooh, look at all these traits. Detective class, skills cost less to acquire. Trusted, you gain one skill point in Psychology. You trusted your mother. Oh, our decisions give us points. Charismatic Presence, you gain one skill point in Manipulation, you have always been charismatic. All right. See, Louis, everybody here knows Sarah de Riche. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the dedicated tab in the menu. Yeah, well, we just did that. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh, it looks so... I love how it's super dark, too. Unbelievably incredible. That's what it would have looked like back then, too. It was bright, 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 because there, there aren't so many lights. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Hmm. What do you know about my mother? What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that sir's mother may be hiding on the island, and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Skills. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost in effort points. All right. Oh, I have a time. Are there any witnesses? Have you found anything here? Difficulty zero, questioning level one. Hmm. Let's go and over there. Did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. 
I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the war for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Hmm. Let me have the handkerchief. I'll take care of it. Difficulty zero, logic level one. You'll give me back the handkerchief. Conviction locked. You will kindly give me the handkerchief. Manipulation locked. Let us say no more then. Hold on, can I hit the uh, en enter just to look at the menu? Can I see this guy's character over here? Journal. Servants. Vulnerability. Questioning. Interesting. Let me have this handkerchief. I'll take care of it. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. I... And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now. There is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. We it get... is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Hold down middle mouse button to move faster. Character revealed servant. This is amazing. We get to verbally abuse servants, friends. It's a game of verbal abuse. Oh, hello. Looks like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. Look for clues on your mother. Let's let's hold this down. Ah, I see. Hold down the middle mouse button makes you run. Little dots here are actually what I need to go Must find. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Hmm. I'm gonna leave the bar and try, try to make a mental note that it's there, though. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Royal Jelly. Royal Jelly restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Interesting. I do like that they just point out the things that you want to find, so it's not like a game trying to find the one thing you need to click on. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. A lantern. Nothing special. Let's see what's hidden inside. Examine the letters one at a time. Find a clue. Difficulty three, logic level one. Ah, one of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I recognize your handwriting anywhere, Mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he is going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this man of Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. 
Why does that name sound so familiar? Mm. Oh, yes, I remember now if I knew anything about politics, but I'm a dumb. This is cool, though, because it reveals what I would, would have needed. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Is there more in there? Let's see what's hidden inside. Examine the letters one at a time. Look. To Mr. Carl Corey, the envelope has ideograms on it. To Mr. Joaquina de Silver Xavier. The dress is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. Hmm, a letter written in an oriental language. I don't know this language. I have the slightest idea what it says. It's too badly written, I, I can't make out the address. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Oh, wow. There's a lot. Probably a Dutchman. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. I know this name. Occultism. This name sounds familiar. Pashi, Pashi, Pashi. No. Can't seem to place it. To Mr. H.B. de la Bat. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. All right, well. Seem to be a whole lot more to see down here. I could take this rod, though I'm not sure why I would exactly. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar Oops. has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Let's take the bar. This might just come in handy. Ah, so there was no reason for me to leave it. I can just add all kinds of stuff to my inventory. I thought it would be suspicious if I was just walking around with a giant bar, but it just gets added to your inventory. Royal jelly. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Hmm. All right. Well, I think this game's fantastic, and I think that's going to be the episode as well. I'm definitely going to play a whole bunch more. It's just beautiful. I love the environment. The voice acting's great. The visuals are great. The immersion's great. And I'm really fascinated by the story. And, interestingly enough, even the gameplay seems uh, more interesting than most of these games typically are, shall we say. In any event, let me know what you thought of uh, this in the comments down below. It's completely different than everything else I do on the channel, but... I've been meaning to do something like this for a while now. Just uh, to spice things up. Ooh, look how beautiful that looks. Water is fantastic. The sound is fantastic too if you have good headphones. But in any event, when's we returning? We scout the rest of the docks. I turn down my mouse sensitivity so I can move. And then we scale all the way to the manor and we get a look over this island. It's gonna look incredible. I can't wait to see it. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. I... And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now.